There we go. Just had to fix that. All right. <laughs> Had an audio issue. Well, let's get right into it. Um, we'll gotta wait for the ad first. All right, let's get into it. Um, I couldn't really decide what to stream tonight, so I decided why not? Why not something relaxing? and chill. Let's do a little bit of Minecraft. Um, let me fix the sound a little bit because usually usually I play Minecraft when I want to listen to a podcast or listen to someone's stream. So there, that should fix the sound, get a little bit of the ambient music going eventually. So yeah, we spawned in this sand pit. And yeah, I decided to start new, brand new world. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. There's a swamp. It looks like over there. Got a swamp. Got a little desert. Small little village. Might build some sand castles. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. So we've got a little bonus chest a little bit of storage and some sticks let me just organize my inventory here usually have a way that I like to keep everything organized bright side is we do have some food so there's that slap that there there we go so let's see what this town has got the villagers here Well, let's see. Let's see what's in here. A little cactus table. Okay. There's a bed there. Oh, another chest here. All right, some wheat, some more bread. Let's steal that. kind of have the idea of taking this village and maybe we can turn it into a little castle like have that be like the tall tower and then just connect all the buildings together that would be a cool little project more bed more wheat and cactus I wonder if there's maybe Uh, it doesn't look like there's a garden. Oh, they've got a whole little... Little harbor over here. Okay. There's a lot we can... Plunder from here. Crafting table. Uh, you know what? Let's set our spawn point up in the tower. Oh, got a rabbit. There. Got some cats. I would like to fish. And then we can have our own cats, and they won't run away. Okay, right, let's explore a little bit down here. There's this side. Oh, looks like they do have some cows. Plenty of hay blocks. So, or lots of wheat. Got a few emeralds. It's not bad. Maybe trade for something. If there's anything we want. Well, let's start with getting some cow bees, some little baby cows. There we go. 
There. All right. Let's see, looks like there's more over here. What's over here? Looks like there's something in that building. What's in there? Oh, villager children. Okay. Oh. Got a few... A few craftsmen in here, it looks like. Alright, more bread, more wheat, some clay, cactus. here. Oh, that's a cactus right there. Almost walked right into it. Okay. So you are cartographer. So seven for a map, but you'll give me an emerald for 24 paper. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, so that looks like that's this entire village here. So what I'm thinking is we could probably have you know, our own little village right here, but then on the top here, maybe we can build like a little sandstone castle, something like that. I think that would be cool. And there's also the swamp. We could explore that too. got our bed. We've got a chest right here at the top of the stairs. Hold on. Maybe, maybe I can turn into a double chest. Just bam, bam. Okay, can't open it that way. That's unfortunate. But you know what? That's, that's fine. Could probably, yeah, let's Let's take that. Bring it down to the bottom here. Um, hmm. I was hoping we could maybe... Well, hold on. You know what? Having a chest there, and then... Some storage, like, right here. Wouldn't be so bad. figure out the specifics later, but I just want to put these, oh, let's, got some stone tools, but I want to, let's make some extra sticks. There. So extra sticks, let's slap the dead bushes and clay in here, and the wheat. We've got plenty of food right now. See how far we can go into that cave we kind of spawned next to. So it's in this pit right over here. Looks like a got a nice and roomy cave. Oh. Not a very big cave, it looks like. Uh, no, it doesn't even go deep. Okay. That's fine. I'll just take my torches. I'll take my torches back. Oh, is there another cave? Or is that all... Connected. Oh, looks like. Yeah, it was just a little tunnel. 
Oh, here's a cave. Is this something? Oh yeah, this... This leads somewhere. No, it's a dead end. Okay. Looks like this kind of leads somewhere. Ah, uh, looks like it's just a little water trench. Alright. It's nothing super exciting. We did get some sugar cane. Alright, yeah, so we'll have to go into the swamps. I'm just gonna run to a bed right now. Let's just duck into the tower here for now. It's gonna make this kind of our main house, main base. Uh, let's go into that swamp. Let's see what we can find. Because, yes, I could just dig a hole and make my own little mining tunnel, but I, I like to explore. I like to see what's in the world itself. Like this right here. Look at that. Doesn't go anywhere, but, you know, it's something cool. What I'm really looking for is coal right now. Uh. Oh, I've got plenty of water. But I've got an entire ocean of water. You know, in the meantime, let's slap this shirker down. Let's mosey on over here. I'm actually probably going to turn that music down just a little bit. It's been under 55% there. So yeah, let's slap this sugar cane down. There. Uh, over here. We've got fish. Got some villages stuck right there. They must have fallen over. They seem to be doing okay though. They're fine. Oh, I've got a little coral reef. Nice. That's cute. Oh then. That's nice. I have a nice cute little spot here. Well, let's go into that swamp. See what we can find. So I was able to get all that bread and wheat, but I want to save the wheat for now for breeding the cows. That way we can get some leather and figure out what we want to do with that. Is that another cave over there? Looks like it. Alright, that might be something. Maybe. Let's uh, take a peek. Oh, there's a creeper down there. Alright. Oh, that, oh, that's deep. That's real deep. Alright. Let's go! Yep, that's, uh, that's far. That's pretty far. Got some copper right here. Alright. Well, if this isn't our cave, I don't know what is. Oh, yeah. Got some glow squid. Have some, we have some glow squid down there, too. Looks like gold. Okay. I might have to come back to this. Because that is pretty far down. 
I want to see what else is around. See what else we can find. But I will leave the torch there. You know what? Let's uh, slap a torch on top of it too so that we know to come back here. Let's put that there. Ah, oh, and another cave already. That's a, a drop, for sure. Maybe we should set up like a little base camp out here in the swamp. Maybe build like a little house on stilts or something. Well, let's see what's on top of this hill here. Get a lay of the land. A little bit rocky, it looks like. A little bit, a bit of a ways to climb. Looks like there's taller trees and taller hills over there, but so far we've got a pretty nice little swamp biome. Swamp, desert, little village. Oh, it goes as far as the eye can see, it looks like. Got some, oh, some sheep and pigs down there. All right. Looks like something right over there. How do you want to build like a little house on top? As like a um, little marker. Oh yeah, there's a lot to explore here. Okay. Well, let's go over to the other set of hills over there. Looks like a, across the river and see what else we can find. Looks like we've got a little bit of an island situation going on. There's the village in the distance. Got some chickens, all right. Oh, a little bit of coal in here. What's this? Oh, that's a creeper. All right. That's trouble. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, just a little, little tunnel. There's a lot of little tunnels around here. But that's okay. Let's grab that coal. go. I think there's a fair amount. Okay then, there we go. So that's that little vein dug out. Uh, let's keep going. That's a skeleton. Oh, more creepers. All right. Uh, should I go in for it? I'll go in for it. Here we go. There we go. Got him. Uh, looks like that's another really big cave. All right, let's uh, let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Skadoodle. There we go. Let's put a torch right here so we know to come back to it. Hopefully I remember to come back to it. Let's head over here. Looks like it's going from swamp into a jungle. This might just be one really spread out jungle, who knows. Oh yeah, we've hit jungle territory, we've got uh, cocoa beans right here. I'll just take those as a souvenir. So lots of little caves around here. Got 
got some cats. I've got melons right here. I'll take one of those as a souvenir. All right. Oh, up we go. Just gotta keep climbing. And up. Oh, uh, let's see. Got a fair ways to climb. That's for sure. So there's that other hill we were looking over from. Looks like we've got more jungle this way. We could probably build like a, a tree house or something. Just ideas. Throwing ideas out there. Can we make the jump? No, we can't. Well, that's fine. We didn't get hurt. Ah, uh, like more jungle. Looks like a forest over there. It's getting dark. I wanted to try to get a lay of the land before it got too dark, but it might be too late there. But that's okay, let's start heading back. Let's mosey down here. Oh, we got some bamboo too. I'll just keep jumping down and breaking my ankles. What's that down there? What is that? Oh, that's a drowned. All right, here we go. Let's swim, Let's swim away. There we go. All right, it's gonna have to fight off a bunch of beasties now. I've got an axe. I'm not afraid to use it. Chicken. Ah, uh, let's see. More holes in the ground. I think how to start is by running away from the monsters. And we'll just grab one of the beds from the village and uh, probably start building like a little house around here. Set up a little outpost or something. Probably up on the top of that hill. Seems like the best spot for it. And then... Gather some wood, get some resources. Eventually head to the big cave that's like right over here. And we can gradually work on turning this tower into like a... Castle fortress of some kind. Alright, time to run in. Ghost probably won't be able to sleep because there are monsters nearby. Ah. Yeah. Probably won't be able to. But you know what? I'll just... Hold on. Eat some bread. And I can jump, jump down, kill the creepers, and we'll be able to sleep. Ow, my ankles. Oof, my shins. Oh god, I'm fired at. Oh no, I, I hate these little zombies. I'll let them kill each other. Uh. 
Oh, they can make you sick now? Well, shoot. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. That's one way to <laughs> kill them. Make use of the sand, too. There. All right. Let's uh, let's get that sleeping done. There we go. A spider over here. I do want a fishing rod. I do want some cats. There we go. Oh, where did the spider go? Oh, oh shoot, creeper. Let's, uh, let's hop out of there. Spider's somewhere. There we go. Where'd that spider go? Looks like it wandered over here. Oh, there it is. Give me your stuff. Didn't drop anything. All right. That's fine. All right, let's hop up back up here. Let's get some trees down. Yeah, let's cut some trees down. Yeah, let's start, let's start at the top of that hill. Maybe. Well, heck, you know what? Well, I'll just start over here. This is the finest spot as any. Was that? Is it jungle wood? That's jungle wood. Okay, so I guess we're on the outskirts of a jungle. Not a swamp like I originally thought. Because swamps usually have oak wood. They don't have, um... They don't have jungle wood. Oh, there's an oak tree right here. Good old classic oak. Got a little bit of everything here. There we go. All right, so let's get this one down. Get these bushes over here. Get the logs out of those. Oh, almost fell into that pit there. That probably would have killed me. Start replanting saplings and all that. And we could probably make some charcoal, make some more torches, all the good stuff. I would like to explore that big cave though. I just can't decide if I should work on building a little sand castle or Set up an outpost out, out here. Should probably explore that cave first. I'm thinking. Let's do two more. Oh, axe broke. 
but that's okay. We'll just make a crafting bench. We've got some st some stone. Let's make a few axes. Make a few pickaxes too. Make two more pickaxes. Let's get everything all organized, and there we go. There. Let's get this block down. Just hanging on f on this li vine for dear life. Come on, and there we go. There's a tree over there, so we'll cut down this one, and then we'll go over there, and then collect the saplings. And there we go. Awesome. even got some cocoa beans out of it. Nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's go around and collect the saplings. Do a little bit of replanting. We'll start with over here. There. Let's scatter them around a bit. Jungle sap sapling. Uh, let's do it right over here. Let's place a few more. Gotta take care of our renewable resources. Uh, yeah. That should be enough. So let's return to the tower. Actually, there's something I want to do. I want to try to attach this building to the tower. Might have to break it down. Probably, yeah, probably gonna have to break it down, but I would like to have an attachment to it. Only at least I'll try to build a nice looking one. Like something... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I want to do something where it's like... Get rid of that bed for now. Uh, we'll just slap that... Hold on. We'll just slap that here for now. So I want to make like a little entrance here and then it'll connect to that building there. So yeah, let's uh, start breaking it down. A little building project. So 
see what we can get out of this. sun is setting too so we could probably hop into a bed really quick and then just spend a, a next day or two building run to the bed really fast. There we go. Let's pick up the little potted Cacti. There we go. All right. Oh, this thing is hollow on the at the base. Wait, was it? I guess it was. I had a little torch to keep monsters from spawning. All right. So let's just tiny this up. Almost done here. Okay, all right, so let's see. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of sand. Or we also have a whole bunch of sand. Not just in our inventory, but also on the ground here. So let's dink all of this up. Let's start with that. This is actually already the usual dimension that I use, at least on this side, uh, when I build a house. So let's see, that was smooth sandstone. Alright. do that. Then do the little corner column there. Uh, so that's cut. Yep. Yeah, okay. Three, four, 
five. Yep. Okay, cool. And then I've got slabs. So we'll use those to put up the ceiling and make it just feel like a little bit taller. And we'll just leave that here for now. We'll leave it like that for now. And then let's uh, finish up the columns here. Yeah, all right. So we got that. Mm. Then the smooth, the uh, smooth sandstone will kind of break up the brick pattern just a little bit. Ah, bed's in the way. Alright, there. Ah, oh, there we go, we have more. There. Okay, and then, well, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's fill that in here. I've noticed we don't really have windows, so I'm thinking let's follow the theme. We'll not, and we'll, uh, let's put down the crafting table first. Let's follow the theme here and make some more smooth sandstone slabs. There we go. Let's break up that brick pattern just a little bit too. Like I was saying before. And there we go. Got our little like ventilation. There we go. Already looks pretty good. Looks okay. And then, well, let's open this up just a little bit more. Oh, that's okay. So we'll just put a slab down here. There. There. Then... Let's make it feel a little bit taller. And there we go. Okay. Um... There. So it's not a perfect little archway, but it's it's something. And then let's actually make don't have enough stone for a furnace. But we'll just slap a bed down. Just like that. There. So far, so good. We'll have those chests up there. And we'll just slap these down here. We can open that. Awesome. 
Now let's put all of our extra stuff in here. Sandstone. Do you want to keep the flower pots? Oh, what's the... Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a little, uh... Little nightstand. Put a cactus in here. There we go. Something cute. Maybe we can do a, like a slab and then like make a little shelf. Hold on. Oh, this doesn't look good. Okay. Wait, hold on. Actually, do this. Slap that on top. There we go. Nice little cactus to greet people when they walk in. Okay. Let's slap the sandstone in here. Put gunpowder in there. Um, let's use the coal to make torches. Because I do have plenty of wood. So I'm not worried about that. And then we'll, we'll probably slowly work on decorating this space over time. There we go. Home sweet home. You also peek out and watch the sunset. Look at that sunset. Alright, bedtime. Time to sleep. Probably do something with it. It's a work in progress. It's not pretty, but it's a work in progress. Alright, let's find that big cave. Let's go spelunking. Hey, boots! Oh, hey, everybody! Booty party. All right. Woo. Bro. Hey, boots. Boot necks. Need a right alert, my friend. I thought I had one set up. I, I could have sworn I had one set up. I I do need one. I will do that next time. <laughs> now I want to check. And because I could have sworn I did, but oh well, that's that's something I can do next time. That's okay. How's the stream going? Uh it's it's going. It's going okay. Nothing super exciting. I couldn't decide what to play tonight so i was like you know what why not minecraft do something nice and chill start a new world do some casual exploring i've kind of i got lucky and uh started off near a village and a whole bunch of caves and i was just about to explore one of them down here as i fall into it yeah it's like this massive cave down here so I'm glad you guys can all can all watch me go in here and probably get spooked. But yeah, I've got a, a humble little tower house thing going on right now. What shader pack is this? Um oh shoot. It's um uh 
The name is on the tip of my tongue. Let me just pause really quick. Uh, it's uh, Silder's Shaders. I'll go ahead and slap that in the chat really quick. Uh, Silder's Shaders. It's either it's either the medium or the light, but it's a texture pack that I usually or not. Uh, it's a shader pack that I usually go with. It is. It's very nice. So let's get down here. I actually need to grab some stone too. I haven't set up a furnace yet. <laughs> it's usually the, one of the first things I do, but I wanted to explore around right away. But yeah, so there's some glow squid down there. Probably going to use the water to gently go down. The water looks like jello. I love it. Yeah, the water lo does look like jello. Alright, so I'm just going to mine out this copper here. I think I saw some gold over there, but I don't have an iron pick to get that. So now I've got some copper. And down we go. Oh, there's some lava. Oh, and a skeleton. There's danger. Oh. I just realized I forgot to make myself a, a sword. I, I usually do this, but... Um, it's probably just the fact that I'm streaming. I get all distracted. Let's slap that together really quick. There we go. Now I can defend myself. I'll just, oh, shoot. Oh, saved by the water. Alright. There we go. Uh, another creeper is lava. Alright. Oh, and it goes even deeper. Oh boy. Oh, good night, boots. All right, I'll I'll be sure to raid Andy later when I get a chance. All right, so we got, looks like some iron. Oh yeah, some iron, all right. Let's see, what we got? That's a whole big cavern. Let's throw down some torches really quick. Let's get a lay of the land in here. Got probably three different ways we can go this way through this big hole thing. Down there looks like another path down, and then on the other side, I think I saw some more stuff over there. Anyway, let's let's mine this out. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I saw Boots was streaming Jedi Fallen Order. I watched a little bit of it. But it was like, it's... He, he streams an hour before I start streaming on Wednesday. So, I couldn't really stick around for too long. But I lurked. There's a creeper there. He got stuck in a rock. Oh, man. I, I wish I could have seen it now. Did he, like, 
glitz through it, or do you just get stuck between a rock and a hard place? Oh. Hmm. I got more copper here. Oh man. Oh man, it does stink when that, that happens. Um, I've had a few times where I've glitched through rocks and then just end up falling through the world. Uh, I think I remember it was ages ago, but I was it was uh, one time I was playing Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3 and I found this one spot and I think they haven't fixed it, but there's one spot where it's you can see through the world itself and it's really easy to fall through and then the game just crashes. I hope he didn't lose too much progress. Because I know he's... It's like his first playthrough, but he's playing on the hardest difficulty. Oh, what's down here? Looks like we've got some glow vines. Oh, lapis. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a, a furnace in just a moment once I dig all this stuff up. And we'll get some iron tools. And there we go. Let's dig up this lapis. Alright, let's set up our own little base camp down here. And there we go. Let's see, let's look this wood down. Throw that in there. Uh, let's smelt the copper first. And then, or smelt the iron first, and then I'll just throw the, some copper in there. There we go. So let's organize our inventory a bit. Uh, cobbled deep slate. All right. Yeah, I hope you didn't lose too much progress because I can imagine. Uh, with, um, it seems like there's a, a checkpoint system, um, at least I've, I've seen the game compared so much to Dark Souls. I'll, I'll just say a checkpoint system like Dark Souls, where it's like you have different sections of levels, and sometimes those checkpoints can be spread really far apart. So I'm hoping you didn't lose too much progress. Because, like I said, he's, if I remember right, he's playing on the hardest difficulty and it's his first playthrough of the game. I can imagine that can be really rough, or really tough, to go through. I, I usually play on, like, the normal difficulty of games, if I have, the, if I have a choice to, myself. There aren't a lot of games that I would try on a harder difficulty. I'm definitely, I'd say I'm definitely more of a, I guess a, a more casual person when it comes to game difficulty. Got a nice little room in here. Oh, and some coal over there. All right. Oh, redstone. Oh, let's uh, 
Let's make iron pickaxes first. That way I can get that. Whoa! Let's grab this gravel too. Let's head back to that furnace. Whoa. And up we go. There. Let's throw some more iron on the fire. Let's let that cook for a little bit longer. Oh, and pickaxes. Let's make two of them. Then let's make an iron sword while I'm thinking about it. We'll just get around to that, using that eventually once the stone swords are, are destroyed. And I'll just, I'll leave those here for now, and we'll come back and pick those up. It's got that coal that I saw earlier. Let's grab that redstone too. This creeper. Nope, go away. Oh, oh, that destroyed some of that coal. Oh, that's that's okay. There's some more iron here. Looks like looks like iron. Yep, it's iron. see any so let's burn some up let's make our own let's take a small amount of the jungle logs here Redstone, let's see. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, what, oh, what makes you start a new world? Um, usually, um, usually I get bored and I make new worlds a lot. <laughs> Just like, w once I get set up in a world i'll usually explore a bit or i'll get lost in some caves and not know how to find my way back uh so when i get hopelessly lost like completely lost i usually end up starting a new world um but i i usually play minecraft when i'm listening to a podcast or if i'm listening to somebody play a game uh so usually i'll just i'll just make new worlds and delete them pretty quickly uh and yeah thank you for the, uh for the compliment on the skin uh it's siri from the witcher 3 it's one of my favorite games i'll probably end up streaming that eventually but knowing me i'll start from the first witcher and play through to the third one. I usually like to stream games in chronological order, and then with how the Witcher games are set up, it's like your choices in one game will affect 
some stuff in for the following games. So I usually I usually like to play games in order when they do that. Like I can't just start playing, say, like Mass Effect or Dragon Age 2. I have to play through the first one and work my way up through the sequels to Mass Effect 3. But also because I like Mass Effect 2 a lot. <laughs> Alright, so. Got some charcoal. Whole bunch of torches. I'll let that continue to burn and then I'll let that finish up to copper. There we go. And then I'll slap some iron in there. And we'll just carry that around with us. Alright, well, might as well just make a new furnace. Make a third one. There we go. We'll just cook, cook some copper too. But yeah, I usually make and delete worlds on Minecraft on a whim. Um, but since since I'm streaming on this one, I'm probably gonna keep this one up for a while. Let's go down here. See what's down. Oh, that's a creeper. We're fine. Totally fine. Oh, what's in here? What's this? That looks like something. That is more copper. Okay. I'll just use the stone pickaxe then. Yeah, it's like I've got this world, I've got a world I made to mess around with solo. Or Actually, no, I have this world and then I have two worlds set up for playing with my girlfriend and our roommate. So I'm not deleting these three worlds. But usually I, I'll like start a new world mess around with it while I'm listening to something. Or if I need to kind of take my mind off of something that happened. And then I'll end up deleting it. Because, um, I'll just forget what I'm doing. And then I'll come back to it and end up just being like, okay, what the hell was I doing? Where the hell am I? And, um... And yeah. That's usually how it goes. Like, I'll just play Minecraft if I'm in a bad mood. And then once I'm... Once I've got those fe bad feelings out, that's usually when I'll delete a world. Because, you know, it's like... I guess, in a sense, like, if I kept those worlds, I would keep those bad feelings since I channeled them into that world, in a sense. So, just my deleting worlds and making new ones is kind of, I guess, a, a form of therapy. You know, I'll, I'll be in a bad mood or have just a day where I am depressed. I'll start a Minecraft world, play in it for a while... And then I, when I feel better, I'll delete it and, in a sense, delete those bad feelings away with it. Alright, Starsbug, thank you for the hydrate and posture redeem. Um, seems like, actually... A good time to grab something to drink. <laughs> um, let's... 
let's double back to that fairness really quick and then I'll do that and I'll do that posture check so I am now sitting straight trust me I think that's some iron right there that is some iron all right uh, I want to see how far this goes it's gonna go pretty far so let's double back double back to that furnace room it's a unique way to think about it yeah yeah it, it is um it's just I I'm in a situation where I can't really af afford to see a therapist right now or take care of my mental health so I I usually watch um shoot there's someone I found on TikTok I can't remember his name right now but he he streams video games but he's also a either a licensed or a former therapist and he'll play games like Last of Us or um I think he actually did a playthrough of Grand Theft Auto 5 recently and he talks he talks a lot about therapy and mental health and stuff and I don't think I got the idea from him but I was just watching his his videos on how therapists talk people through different things and about mental health and dealing with people and stuff that kind of gave me the idea uh plus minecraft is a really good game to just kind of chill out and vibe and mindlessly dig or build something for a few hours it's it's usually my kind of just game i play when i don't want to think about stuff uh, yes, Starspog, I am a banana-shaped bitch. I also need to set up a raid alert, because I thought I did. Could have sworn I did, but apparently not. Alright, so I'm going to go grab a drink really quick. I'm going to go ahead and run an ad so that people coming in don't have to watch ads. So let's do an ad break, ad break, and a water break for those of you here tonight that need it. All right, I am back. All right, um, okay. So let's get back to it. All right, I grabbed some lemonade, so I am hydrated now. <laughs> if I wasn't before. Uh, let's see, so that copper is cooking. Let's go over this way. But yeah, as I was saying before, um, 
like right now I have a part-time job and I have a lot of time to think and I end up thinking a lot like I'm always I'm always thinking about something constantly and um, it wasn't actually until the pandemic that I realized well with some help from Star Spog I realized oh hey I might have autism and I don't know how to deal with that because I never thought I had autism until maybe like a year and a half ago about a year ago maybe um, so it's just me trying to I've been trying to find ways that work for me to deal with my overthinking and just realizing oh this isn't just this isn't nor this isn't what everybody goes through it's just specifically me but i also have not been officially diagnosed for autism so it's definitely something i need to get around to eventually when the time comes but yeah, it's just, like, using Minecraft to <laughs> delete my bad feelings is just one way that I figured out that works for me. Because, like I said, I overthink a lot. Sometimes I might accidentally repeat myself on a loop until I catch myself. So I'm kind of like a broken record that way. Or like, I'll have an idea, and I'll just repeat it over and over again until I get some input. And even if I get some e input, I'll repeat it like every few days or something. And Star Spog will have to be like, Thomas, you've said this to me 20 times. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> But yeah, it's like using Minecraft Worlds as a way to deal with those bad feelings, those bad vibes. And it's just something I figured out that seems to work for me. It's not always perfect because sometimes I'll still feel bad about something or feel grumpy about something. But it, it works some of the time. <laughs> like, I'd say like 80% of the time... It works 100% of the time. <laughs> I know you never mean it maliciously. I'm just saying sometimes I repeat myself over and over again. I'm like a broken record. Except instead of being on a loop the loop lasts for a few days. A lot of copper down here. Also, Lissa, when I come home from work tomorrow morning, I'm going to make you some scrambled eggs. Because I ate your eggs, your hard-boiled eggs, earlier last night, and I feel bad. I'm gonna make you some scrambled eggs. Do I get paid tomorrow? I don't, but tomorrow I'll make you some scrambled eggs. It may be a broken record, but I'm the old-school DJ making the wacka wacka noises with it. All right. <laughs> Maybe I should get a sound alerts thing so that you can actually make the wacka wacka noises literally. All right, so I've got this spot mined out. 
Uh, let's go down this way. Yeah, because I remember when I when I first started streaming, I I um, proposed the idea of having like a sound alerts thing on, where it's like people can spend their channel points or whatever to play sounds. And you were like, "But what if someone spams though?" And I was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." It was a good point at the time, but I kind of want to do something with that still. I know most streamers I I see have something set up where they have it linked to like bits. So it's like spend a dollar, play a funny sound, something like that. I might set it up. I'll probably set it up for like bits and channel points. It's a fun little thing. There's an idea. Alright, um... Let's creep her up here. Oh no. Oh. Let's see. Oh, it looks like this is the end of this little cave. At least one end of it. I don't see any more. Yeah, I don't see any more. So let's head over here. I don't see any... Yeah, just a bunch of stone. There's more areas to explore in here, so... Got some iron along the bottom here. Oh yeah, when that soft Minecraft music hits. Some good times, good vibes. I am really glad I'm finding all the iron now. I think we carried some stuff away. Oh, right over here. Oh, is that diamond? That looks like diamond. <laughs> Depression, cured, anxiety, gone. Acne. Cleared. Yep. Oh, here we go. Diamonds. Looks like diamonds. Is it one single diamond? It's one single diamond. I'm gonna make the, the best shovel out of this fucking thing. <laughs> There's another chamber down there. All right. Oh, let's mosey over here. Let's mosey on over here. You gotta find a water cave for more diamonds. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what I can do about that. Got some lapis. I got the diamond. Actually, no, I won't be able to get the obsidian for an enchanting table, but I'll figure it out. There's a lot of water down here. Lots of iron. Yeah, I think I'm right next to a whole bunch of water caves, because I was finding a whole bunch of like underwater trenches and stuff earlier. And just submerged caves. Well, that's the end of this one. It looks like there's some more up here. I 
There's more lapis. More of those glow vines. Well, that's a whole bunch of tunnels and stuff. Alright. There's lava. Some gold. Uh, oh yeah, a whole bunch of tiny tunnels and stuff. Alright. And my inventory inventory is looking pretty good. So I'm going to keep going. Let's dig up all the gold. just see some lapis? I swear I just saw some lapis! Oh, jeez. Well, let's take a looky over here. Maybe I'll find it again. If I go around in circles enough times. But what was that? That was tough. Oh! Okay, we're ne right next to some amethyst. Just don't go down too far. All right, I'll try not to. Because then I'll get lost. You know, when Thomas and I play together, I'm too scared to go into caves. I just stay up and build and organize everything. He's the one with the guts. And then that cave update, and I don't want to go into caves even more. Oh, yeah, because of the... Um... My mind's blanking. Um, the Guardian. The Watcher. The... A new monster. A new boss monster that is really tough. I'm gonna crack into this amethyst, so help me. Is it in here? I want my pretty crystals. It was more tough. Or is tough just a block that spawns now? Oh, hold on. Um. Oh, okay. I've already been through here. Alright, I think I'm just getting myself lost. Oh, the warden. Yeah, okay. I knew it started with a W. <laughs> Whole bunch of tough. Maybe there isn't amethyst nearby. Maybe I'm. Maybe it was just a false alarm. Oh, hello. Uh, let's build a little bridge. I'll build a bridge out of tough. Get some more iron over here. Yeah, I knew it, it, it was either a watcher or a warden. A big scary guy. I think it's like even in the netherite armor he can nearly one-shot people or something like that. So definitely Definitely a tough dude. And tough is probably an understatement. Alright, so there's the end of this tunnel here. So let's mine this stuff out. And my inventory is starting to get full, so I'm going to go ahead and double back and eventually make my way back to that furnace where I had the copper cooking. And there's more redstone. So we're going pretty deep. Well, we've gone pretty deep. As far as I can tell. Probably not like warden levels deep, but we've gone pretty deep. 
We are going to make it so the warden would fit in one by one holes. Oh my god. That would be terrifying. <laughs> oh hell no, yeah. Oh man. But if they did? Oh boy. I don't want to go deeper. I want to explore more. But knowing me, I am already going to be lost. I already feel lost. Uh, oh, this is where I started digging up tough. Oh. oh, yeah, there's that chasm, that chamber there. Oh, nice. We're right back in here. Okay. Let's climb back up. Let's follow the water. Uh, let's see. It was somewhere over here, I think. No. It's further up. I'll find that furnace eventually. Oh yeah, it was, it was up there. So I'm gonna take the water up. Into the jello water. Oh, that's iron, I think. Yeah, that's iron. I want to mine some of that. Oh, it's the tough. There we go. Let me get my hands on that. Alright, and I think this is where, or near to where that, oh yes, yep, right over here. Right over here, then down this way. Alright, so there's, got the copper, and let's mosey out of here. We've spent enough time down here. Let's go up. So there's the lava. Then there's water. So there's that water spout that I took up here, or took down here. I think it's over this way. Oh, yep, right over here. That's a big old wall of water. Let's go up. Oh, gosh. Rude. Bastard. Yeah, we've got a whole other half of the this cavern that we haven't been to yet. Oh, there's gold over there. And more iron. Alright. Just a, a little bit more digging. Then I'll be done. Yeah, lucky for us they didn't make the warden fit into one by one holes, but what if they did though? Just what if Minecraft wouldn't be this fun little crafting game anymore. It would be a survival horror <laughs> once you get to a certain point. Okay, now we can go home. And away we go, into the water. Right, let's get back up here. That looks like a cloudy day. Got some nice foggy ambience going on. I guess it's been raining up here, looks like. Alright, let's take our loot back home. Um, oh, I completely forgot to put torches up on the house. 
Uh, I am out of sticks. Wait, am I out of sticks? Yeah, I'm out of sticks. So that's probably a good thing we did go back. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, let's make a furnace. Let's make two of them. I'll just slap these in here for now. I'll figure out what to do with them in just a moment. I got so much raw copper. We do have some redstone. We can make a compass. We can start making maps. Let's put all these away. Got some coal. Actually, I'm more concerned about the iron than the copper. But a clock would be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and smelt some gold too. And let's just get started on the iron there. Let's see. Oh wait, I do have some logs. I still have some logs. So I'm not out of sticks. I just need to make them. Then I could probably make some armor too. Now let's make that gold. Then I'll make some more charcoal. There we go. And then I'll throw some charcoal in there. Because why not? Got bones. Well, let's check on the cows. Uh, if I can remember where they are. Oh yeah, uh, let's put the diamond in a safe place. There. Cows are... Where's the pen? I think the pen's over here. It was... Over here, yeah. Yeah, we've got a nice little desert village here. Alright, time to make more babies. There we go. Now there's four. Yep, little ones hidden there. I do want to eventually rebuild this village. Probably do some terraforming, have like a gentle slope leading down into like the the harbor area. That'd be nice. Just ideas. I've already kind of attached a building to this tower here. What I want to do is eventually build a castle. But it's it's a work in progress. It's gonna take a while. probably have to find another desert and plunder that for sand. That way I can keep the, the look of this little sand area here. Uh, let's make some more bread. Let's make a few more loaves. Let's see... Got that burning. Let's just slap that into there. Get some more stuff going. All right. Uh, let's see. I might have completely blanked out on what I was going to do. Um, Oh yeah, wood. Uh, let's get some more wood. But just taking a peek out and over the little village here. Just trying to think of ideas. Like what to build. 
Because I know I do want to set up like a little outpost on top of the hill there. Well, let's head in, out into the jungle here. Got some orange sand. Is that orange? It's red sand. I've got some red sand here, so we could probably do some terracotta or something like that. Get some cool floor designs going or something. I do actually want to explore over here for a bit. Got some sheep. Got some pigs. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I've gotten pretty far inland as far as exploring goes. So I got like these uh, jungle outskirts here, and then there's a more thicker jungle the further we go in. And there's also some bamboo, cocoa beans, stuff like that. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, there's more river. Oh yeah, that's really deep. I think that's probably a water cave right there. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, I found it. A big cave right there. I feel like that's definitely worth like setting up like a little house or something and uh, taking little trips down there. We've got that big ravine, cavern, chasm place by the house, or by the village. So we'll probably go through there first, explore what we can, and then move to another cave to explore. Chicken. But yeah, just looking around over here. This kind of jungle that goes on for a while. I don't think I've been over here just yet. Oh yeah, I was going to hop, run over here, I think. And then night fell, I ran back to the village, and then we started exploring that cave. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so that was the hill I was going to go to, I think. Or maybe it was that one over there. And there's another one on the... Other. Other? No, wait, this, it was this one. Yeah. So this jungle goes on. This forest goes on for a while. Oh, there's a broken portal over there. Let's check that out. That usually has some cool stuff. I see something over here, too. I want to take a peek. Uh, looks like some coal. Some surface coal. Uh, some copper. I'm going to steal that really quick. Let's grab that while we can. that. That's a nice haul of coal right there. All right. Well, let's see. Is the cave, is it a little cave or is it a big cave? It is a decently sized, it's not a very big cave, but it has some coal, so that makes up for it.
Uh, let's see. All right, so that's all for that right now. Uh, let's let's keep going inland. Let's keep going. See what we find. Looks like there's another a river. That might be the one I was trying to get to earlier, or across. Let's see, there's a lot of holy shit. There's a lot of big caves. Well, I will never want for a cave to explore. Let's see. I want to see if this jungle eventually ends, though. Because it's pretty big. It's not a thick jungle, but it's still a jungle. It has jungle wood. Oh, okay, here we go. Some birch trees. Looks like it does eventually end. Oh, look at that. Alright, that is a nice view. Got some sheep over there. Looks like a savanna. More jungle and more forest. Okay. Alright, so let's double back. I think it's gonna be night soon, so let's run back here. Grab some red, some roses, or some poppies on the way. Let's grab some flowers. We can pretty up the, the place a bit. Uh, back at the village. I can steal some more flowers too. There we go. Alright, let's head back. A whole bunch of sheep. Got some melons. I already grabbed some melon earlier. That was a pumpkin. Pumpkins. Yeah, I'll take one of those. There we go. Yep, just gotta walk back now. Oh yeah, it's gonna be night soon. Let's uh let's double time it. Oh boy, it's gonna be night soon. Let's try to get back. Oh, that's another cave. It's a water cave. And I think I see the sand. It's right over this hill. Ah, uh, it's a little island. Alright. So we're... Just gonna have to go along the shore, it looks like. Oh my god, another cave. Another massive cave. This is the chasm. I remember back when caves were either just caves or if they were ravines. Like, nothing big like- oh shit! Eh. <sighs> Alright, so here's where I reveal I am definitely a casual player, and I hate dying. Um, I have it set so that I keep my inventory. So I hope that's not a turnoff to anybody, but that's just... 
that's just how I like to play. I don't like having to go back and grab stuff, especially if I get lost. Because I carry all my good shit with me. Anyway, let's put this stuff away. Uh, actually seems like a really good time to wrap things up for now. And next time I'll figure out what the heck I want to do with this world and what I want to build and stuff. But we did some exploring, got some cool stuff, uh, built a little attachment to the tower. So wasn't all for nothing. Uh, but I will go ahead and I believe Boots suggested somebody for us to raid. So I am going to go and see if I can find that message. And then, all right, Anakin won. All right, so we'll go ahead and raid them. Give them a little raid. As soon as I find them. And are they... Hold on. They are live. Alright, what are they playing? What are they playing? They are playing No Man's Sky. Alright. So we'll go ahead and... Let's see. I... Let's see, uh, and one, all right, so let's go ahead and raid them. Looks like they're playing No Man's Sky. That is a game that I've been wanting to try out myself. So let's, let's go ahead and peek in, see what they're up to. What the, looks like they're building something. So let's go ahead and get ready to raid. So we'll go ahead and see what they're up to. Uh, feel, uh, feel free to watch if you guys or watch. Feel free to watch them if you guys want. Uh, but let's let's begin the raid. Here we go, raiding party. <laughs> <laughs> 